How's it going everyone? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to Steinsgate, my darlings embrace. Lukaku's route, he is a man, and everything seems to be better between him and Okabe. Things were a little complicated for an episode or two, but now we're back onto the weird training to fight the dragon, which I'm starting to wonder about the validity of this dragon, and really just whatever the hell is going on. So let us continue on. And so the next day... <laughs> what the fuck is happening, man? Uh, I guess we're just going through the uh, weird exercises that we... Uh... Yeah, I guess we're just going through everything again, except I guess we're not hating it this time. And the following day... What a fantastic start to an episode, I swear. Our intense training continued. Oh, that it did. I couldn't care less about what people think of us. After seeing the dragon for the second time, I know what must be done. Regardless of how stupid it might seem, Sweating endlessly in the summer heat. We spend what little time we have left training according to the book Lukako had found. That we did, apparently. I decided to skip that one exercise. Haha, <laughs> I know why. And then finally, the time has arrived. The scorching month both light and dark balance each other out. August 17th, 2010. I've done everything I could. And that's what Lukako's eyes say to me. Indeed. I'm the only human capable of seeing that horrific beast of nightmares. Which means that Lukako must do battle with an enemy unseen. Uh-oh. Lukako gazes straight into my eyes. There's not an ounce of doubt in him. No confusion. He doesn't even look scared anymore. He's full of confidence and trust. 
the bond that he and I formed over the last few days. I am his eyes, and he is my body. Lukako is both brave and beautiful. I nod my head to the other half, or to my other half. Lukako! Yes, let's go, and so we make haste to a battle that will forever go unknown in the annals of history. Not annals. According to Mayuri, today should be the last day of Kamima. That explains why Chuadori seems less crowded than usual, and not that there aren't still plenty of folks around. I have my white lab coat on. Lukako is in his Miko outfit equipped with the demon sword Samadare. We look ready to storm the battlefield. Fortunately, Akihabara, being as it is, we don't even remotely stand out, stand out amidst the masses of people, excuse me. Lukako and I both stop at the same time and look up at the sky. Neither of us say a word. Our actions sync up thanks to the shared experiences we had over the last few days. The old scroll said that the dragon would likely appear today, but it didn't say what time. The battle could begin in the afternoon or the evening. It might even be at night. What do I know, or what I do know, is that the dragon appeared during dusk the last few times. And so I suspected that might be the case today as well, but... The sky is clear. The flying terror is nowhere to be found. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. If artificial satellites can rain from the sky on days like this, so can a dragon. Yeah, I look at Lukako holding Samadare and notice his hands trembling slightly. Despite what he said earlier, he's still scared. I gently place my hand on his shoulder. <laughs> Time passes as we stare up at the sky. Myself in a lab coat and Lukako holding Samadare in his Miko outfit. It's not too surprising that pedestrians stop every now and then to see what we're looking at. They eventually move on after seeing nothing in the sky. I've stopped caring about what's going on around me. My senses are sharpening. The only things I can see and feel are the blue sky above me and the warmth of Lukako's body. Eventually the noise around me begins to vanish. All that's left is the pure. Oh, here we go. The dragon will appear now. I feel like, yeah, this is this is like some sort of hypnotic thing. Yeah, see, see, it's it's like getting scanned into us. I'm suddenly hit by a wave of dizziness, and then a shadow appears. The faint shadow slowly, ever so slowly, begins to fill with fill in with color. We did not get a lot of uh, speech there. I swear, this game has problems. But I've complained like 50 times. The beast lets out an ear-splitting roar. Its guttural scream is loud enough to shatter windows. Guttural? Guttural? Yeah, let's go with that. Or at least that's how it feels to me. I nod to Lukako. But this time it's different from before. It's more clear. More majestic. More evil. This is no dream. Nor is it an illusion. Well, I don't know about that one, dog. It's really there. I can't move. Its presence is overwhelming. The vibrations in the air jolt my skin. Just a single look into its eyes is enough to make me feel as though my blood is boiling. My body is ignoring every signal my brain sends it. The hairs on my body stand up straight as my legs refuse to obey my orders. Seal a dragon? Me, a dragon slayer. Preposterous. How did I ever think it was possible? Faced against such an awesome and otherworldly power, how could us humans ever hope to win?
I can't even face it head on. I just want to run away. But my legs refuse to listen to me. It roars again. So it's not only like a visual like hallucination, but it's also like, it's also auditory. I think I said this before, this sounds familiar. All I can do is scream. All I can do is tremble in fear. The dragon's mouth slowly opens, revealing its fiery tongue. Am I going to be burned alive? Is it going to tear me to shreds with its razor sharp claws? Either way, I'm a goner. Please just make it quick. どうしようもない。あんなの封印するなんてそんなのは不可能だ。何を言ってるんです。僕たちはそのために今日まで特訓してきたんでしょ。お前は見えないからそんなことが言えるのだ。できる、できるはずがない。あれは人の手に負える
フニールは消えたそれじゃあ僕あ僕はああやったやったんだお前は見事竜を封印したんだやっ Almost as if all the energy in his body had instantly vanished, Lukaku begins to fall down. I hurriedly catch him in my arms. Oi, Lukaku! Go, go, men, as I. Boku, Nanka, Scaraga, Hira Nakte. I am not a Nakte. Oh, my, what you got. Yeah, I mean, he really put his all into something that. He probably really didn't need to put his all into. Lukaku's strength continues to fade. Wait, no. Lukaku! Oi, Lukaku! Scare it! Panicked, I look down at his face. Then. This fucker's asleep. Defeats big ass, fake ass dragon. Alright. I sleep now. He's asleep. He must have lost consciousness from all that stress being released. Jeez. He really had me worried for a second there. Lukaku sleeps soundly in my arms, not a worry in the world. To be honest, I always thought him to be kind of a pathetic person. Weak, unreliable, brittle. But that isn't who the real Lukaku is. He's a person much stronger than I could ever hope to be. In this world line, I confess my feelings for him. I think I finally understand why. Lukaku whispers in his sleep. I brush away the hair covering his cheeks. His long eyelashes are moist. His fair skin, soft cheeks, and his smooth lips. As if I'm being guided by his voice. Guided to his t Oh no. <laughs> the small voice he lets out shocks me back into reality. I. Just now I. お、起きていたのか、ルカコ。僕どうして。で、気が緩んだのだろう。少し眠っていたようだ。眠って。じゃあ、今のは夢夢僕なんだかすごくいい夢を見ていました。京馬さんが Wait, he remembers. Lukaku adjusts his posture and bows his head. Somehow my attempt to confuse him worked. あの、今日まさん。なんだ。龍を封印したご褒美が欲しいな。なんてダメですか？え、maybe。ご褒美だと。Uh, Wait, is he going to ask for a kiss? Oh, that's fucking lewd. Huh, that's a relief. Ah, that's nothing. As 
As Lukaku flails about in an attempt to erase what he had just said, I reach out with my right hand. His surprised expression turns into a big smile. And so... Lukaku firmly grabs my hand in his. His beautiful smile shining radiantly. Wait, is this the end? Oh my god. Bro, this was a weird ass one. This was weird. Like, not because it was man on man. That's whatever. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I'm skipping this. Oh, hey, there's an epilogue. Oh, finally some answers. All right, I'll hold off on my opinion of this route and just, just for a minute. I'm stunned as Kirisu breaks the news to me. It's yet another hot summer day. My mind? Huh, they're applying a real, like, one of the solutions that they came up with from the main game, one of their actual working solutions, the time leaping, into a scenario here. Number 13. Kirisu was working on it before I sent that email. まあ、元々はそれも私の通ってる大学ビクトルコンドリア大学の精神生理学研究所が開発したVR技術の延長なんだけど。要するに、映像信号を神経パラスにコンバートする装置ね。それを応用して試しにいろんな映像を取り込ん
<笑>待てでもそれは電話に出なければ起きないのではないのか俺はそんな電話を受けた覚えはしたわよ確かに3回 I checked my incoming call history. She's right. Three times. On the 8th, 14th, and the 17th. These are all the times I saw the dragon. Actually, come to think of it. Right before we sealed away Fafnir, Kidusu called me. And on the 14th, the second time I saw the dragon, I just happened to have my phone in to my ear. I might have accidentally accepted her call. Then what about the 8th? Yeah, I don't remember the 8th. Wait, I had my phone in my ear that time too, so the same thing that happened on the second day happened on the first? And I can't believe this. This is how the story ends. This is so stupid. Lukako and I went through all that training for nothing. I can feel the tension leave my body as I sink into the couch. I want to know more about, like, the training stuff that we did. これを応用すれば視覚情報だけじゃなくて頭の中で想像した映像なんかを取り出すことができるようになるかもしれないえちょっと面白いと思わない次はそんなガジェット作ってみようかしらキリスは beaming but my mind is is just elsewhere I suppose now is as good as time as any to use ho ren so anybody who does business in Japan knows that wait what's that should I actually read the tips for this one? Hold up. I need to uh, actually go to the tips. A business mantra in Japanese culture, an abbreviation of Hokoku, report, Rinraku, inform, and Sodan, consult. So report, inform, and consult. Huh. Okay. And so time continues to pass, and the lab mems are all together again. I'm still in a state of shock from what Kidusu said to me earlier. My your emotions for someone to come into the lab. I guess Mayuri found Lukako outside the lab and had him come in.元なんて言うから何かと思えば嬉しばらさんじゃないどうしたんルカシルカシもラボメンだからいつみたいに堂々と入ってくればいいのにそれが実はその僕岡部さんに謝らなきゃならないことがあって俺に謝るはいその実は
So those old stories and instructions were just pieces of the story he was trying to write. That explained why he'd been cleaning up his storage space lately. He probably wanted to make sure nobody would find his old work, and Lukaku beat him to the punch. My body sinks even further into the couch after having the truth smashed into my face. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looked cool, but that doesn't really help us out here. I knew he was kind of weird given the way he raised Lukaku, but I never saw this coming. Regardless, he and my assistant are firmly to blame here. The more I think about it, the more frustrated I get. ウルシバラさんが謝ることじゃないわよ。だからなぜ全部俺のせいになるのだ。日頃のお子ないじゃない。Damn。日頃のお子ないじゃね。マユシはノーコメントなのです。Fuck man. Poor Okabe. あの、でも僕嬉しかったです。Lukako begins talking as I glare at the group of traders. Lukako? その I'm honestly touched, but I'd prefer if he didn't say that with everyone around. What the fuck? See what I'd say. ルカコよ。そういう話はまた別の時にでも。あの、岡部さん。その前に一つだけ聞いてもいいですか。なんだ。あの時一緒に龍を封印した後に。After we sealed the Is he talking about when その あれが夢だったのかどうか、未だに僕。夢だ。なんだか知らんがきっと夢を見ていたんだ。何何？何があったの？面白そうな話ね。詳しく聞かせて。リア充爆発しろ。しろ。All I can do is feign ignorance. No matter what they say, I'm going to stay quiet. No matter... Uh-oh. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh my god. <laughs> Suzuha points her phone screen at us. And on that screen was... Oh no. I hastily snatched the phone out of her hand. Oh no. Moeka. Wait. No, this can't be. Oh no. Sasuga Okarin. 
そこにしびれる憧れるラブラブだねー That's his reaction Screw it I'm gonna send a D-mail and やっぱり夢じゃなかったんだあああああああああああああああああああああああああああこれもシュタインズゲートの選択というわけだエルプサイコングルーおわいおわいやいやあはコンガリーダーあれやっぱりやっぱりやっぱりやっぱりやっぱりやっぱりやっぱりやっぱりやっぱりやっ I mean, it was different because it wasn't, you know, Okabe and a woman. It was Okabe and a man. A big, strong man. Well, I don't know if big, strong man is the best terminology to use, but you get what I'm trying to say. I guess with that, there's really not much else to really go about here. We have three more endings to get, but it's kind of confusing because we have Suzuha's to get, right? And then Mayuri's. So, is there like something else that's gonna pop up here? Like a, like a true ending or something? That's sort of what I'm thinking here. God, that was so weird. That was just. And, and no, it's, it's not because Lukaku was a man and Okabe is a man and it's man on man. That's whatever. And I say that as a straight man. It's really whatever. It's just the direction they went in was just a little weird, you know? Just a little bit. Other than that, it was, it was pretty alright. It was, it was fun. It was long and big, like as we saw in the first episode of this route, but it was, it was, it was alright. It was okay. Thank you all for watching this episode and this route. Next time, I guess, we'll be jumping into Suzuha's and then Mayuri's. Hope you'll all uh, stick around for that. I know I'm kind of excited to continue on through this and finally get this over with. Hope you all are as well. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I hope to see you guys then. Take it easy.